So last spring, I, I was asked to do a, a guest lecture for a class on the Bible as literature. And then I said, yes, I'd like to do that. And we have early Bibles and we have early pieces, uh, American Bibles. And, but I said, we also have these pieces, these wonderful vellum wrap, what I call vellum wrap Bibles. This one uh, has a seriously compromised spine. I said, would you like me to pull one of those just to talk about the, the, the physical piece? And they said, yes, that's wonderful. So I went to the stacks. I didn't even look in this book. I just saw the binding, saw this, this very ornate cover, saw the fact that, it, that the spine was seriously compromised, but wanted to be able to tell the students, sh demonstrate them very early binding. This is 1642, and this is all original. So I opened it up to the title page, and then I see these seals. These, these red wax seals, which of course are beautifully intact, they're still sharp, and my first thought was this piece belonged to an, somebody important. And then I noticed over here, this little piece, that's, this happens often in, in books like this, it was clipped from a dealer's catalog, and it says that this is the Louis XIII's copy with his seal on title page, very rare. This is Louis XIII's own copy of the New Testament. This was printed specifically for the king at the king's boundary at the Louvre in Paris and printed specifically on paper made for the king. So it, it is quite likely a unique copy. It may, there may not be another copy of this in existence. 